So you'll notice in my hands here we have two different flowers that both could be considered blue lotus. So what is the difference? So most everyone has available today this flower which is actually an Asian variation. It's still blue lotus or blue water lily. Some would say purple water lily. And it's actually a derivation. It's a, a variation species of this original Egyptian flower, which this is, this is the true ancient flower of ancient Egypt that the ancient Egyptians actually were using. This is, the Latin name is Nymphaea cerealia. And so most people label this flower Nymphaea cerealia, but its true species name is actually Nuchali. And it's natural for the cerealia to go from like a white inner to a light blue outer. And it depends on the minerals in, in the soil and the muds where the flower is growing um, for how much blue is expressed. So if there's more phosphorus in the soil, then more blue will form. If the plant is fighting different uh, invaders or bacteria and to become stronger and survive in its environment, it builds up more of this blue, this beautiful blue color, which is part of the, the uh, beneficial constituents that is for the brain, that is for um, that healthy mental state, and also is correlated to the third eye and production of DMT. So very powerful for our mind and having these amazing awarenesses that are beyond the five senses.